Now I'm taking this same one instead of a pencil brush, the same brush, and I'm just re-rolling it and I'm getting a little more concentrated just in the crease. I'm not going up much at all now. Just in the crease. I may roll that a little bit on the edges. When you roll on the edges, what that does is concentrate color. So, and again, I'm coming back in. All right, and I do always just a slight swipe up to the front part of my brow, but because just because of my brow, my shape. Otherwise, it looks like there's a little white line there. So, yeah, that's what I got so far. Where am I at? Uh, I think I already went over. We're in video two. Sorry. I had to take a coffee break. I just had slobber. <laughs> oh. Are you having a good time with me slobbering and slurping with you today? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take this other color. It's frightening. No, I'm kidding. It's, um, it's more shimmery. Okay, they're just tweeting the stew out of my phone right now. Hold on. i got to get this back out because I already forgot the name of it. I wonder if you guys remember. Write it down. <laughs> oh, this is the one called Showtime. Okay, so this is the kind of bronzy purple one. And um, again, I'm going to roll the, I'm Actually, I'm not going to roll this. I'm going to just pat down in it. I'm still not going to just, you know, dive down in it. But I only want one side. And the reason is I'm going to use this like I would a flat shader. And I'm only going on the eyelid. I know you're thinking, bad, bad, that's so dark. It's like, yes, I'm doing a dark uh, eye today instead of a light eye. Normally, I have a light color on my lid. And I will even centralize to a shimmer product in the center. But today, I'm going dark. That's what it looks like. Sometimes, I like a dark lid. And in these cases, I don't really need liner. But... And I'm doing this very, very slow. So when you go slower, y'all, you have less fallout. And it doesn't fall all over your face. It's going to have some. But not nearly as bad as when you start doing this. The swishing motion, it just comes out of the brush everywhere. Now I'm doing this slightly just to make sure I'm filling in all the lines and crevices and spaces. Right? Okay. So that's done. But now I want to keep this color out and use my little short shader. This is my E20. And remember, I use this like a liner. I will um, dab it back and forth like that, kind of rock it in there, both sides. But I will tap it off because we're going under the eye and using it like a liner. So starting in the outer corner, I come in just using the top part of that and then swishing right back. And then I'm going to stamp it right on the lash line going from the outer to about halfway in. Now some people might use a... Um, a pencil brush for this and uh, that'd be good if you like a wider base underneath your eye and especially if you're younger that might look really good if you have a special evening you're going out like New Year's um, because it will make it quite dramatic um, now if I wanted to and I didn't already have my brows done I could use the same color because it's such a dark purple as a brow color you just only use it slightly Okay, so I've got that done. Now we are going to do a little bit of blending just on the edge with the blending color. Certainly right here at the nose to get that off. Remember I had some white on this, so that's why it's, it's really good that I, I already had that on there because it's not adding dark color. And I'm just slightly blending out this right there. Just slightly. Don't overdo it or you blow all the work that you did to lay down a blending color and to... Um, all the work that you just did to make that have a, a gradient effect. You don't want it to be um, blurred. What's the word I'm looking for? Not blurred. I can't think of the word. Anyway, you know what I mean. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my DHC Liquid Eyeliner EX Perfect Pro. I do need to get some more of this. Y'all, I love this because the, the um, I always say nib but on this. It is a liner... Uh, pen. It is such a good one, and it's very heavily loaded with color. 
Uh, the one that I used yesterday, it just was more like a gray black, and I like a black black, especially in this circumstance. Whoops, went a little too high. Uh, where uh, I'm on a dark color, so I need a dark black liner. There, that's perfect. That's what it's called. Perfect Pro. Now, look real good at your eye to decide exactly where the other one's going to be. Right there. Is that right? This one needs a little more tail. There we go. There. And I'm going to come out to it. Remember to always backfill, go in front of the line and come back to it. Front of the line and come back to it. And I don't always go all the way in. Now, if you want a very dramatic look, you might go all the way into the um, tear duct. And just make sure out here that you do have the um, this little area filled in as well. So I think it actually did pretty good. There we go. There we go. I think it's pretty good. Now, what does this really do? Why do we do the liner? For one thing, it backs up the um, the lash line so it'll look darker. And also, the lashes, once you... Um, I'm going to start over here because that one's drying. Um, once you do your mascara, those outer lashes will be reinforced, mimicked, whatever the word would be, by the um, eyeliner. So it kind of makes you look like your little lashes are going out, but really it's liner. And I don't do really heavy cat eye. Remember, um, I have got a Chanel eyelash curler, but any eyelash curler that has kind of a shorter top, I like better than the really long ones. Or the ones that have a ridge, that has a ridge on the back. I don't really understand the point of those. I would love to read about that and find out. Now remember, I also do two kind of steps. I do a straight up. Now you put the, the metal on your lid and then your eyelashes will naturally, if you put a little pressure down, uh, pop up, close it, make an L, and then I let it go a little bit and get more to the end and kind of go, I've changed the position of this to where now it's positioned back towards the eye socket so it's more like a curl than just an L. But I always start, see my eyelashes go straight down, right there, straight down. So I put this on there, they pop up, I do my little L. Did I get them all? It's hard to tell because I forgot to bring a smaller brush. Let me do that again. Put it on the lid. Pop them up. And right now we're getting the L down. Holding it down. And now I'm going to let it out just a little bit, about half the lash down. And go back more towards the socket. My tummy's been upset. I think I'm drinking too much coffee lately. Or maybe it's some of these sausage cheese balls. So, we're done. Now, we are going to use my famous Inimitable Mascara by Chanel. I love it. First, you tip out the ends. And that just coats the ends so that when you come back to them and come through, you get from the root all the way out to the end. You don't have little untipped ends that when somebody looks at you sideways, they see little blonde stick outs because you didn't get all the way to the end. Also, that's one of the reasons why you do more than one coat and a lot of combing. As you see, I'm doing a lot of comb through just to make sure the product's going all the way to the end from the root. You can even go very slowly. And that also helps bend it a little. Like I'm bending up very slowly. And because this is waterproof, it kind of holds it there. Remember, I always get the little ones on the inner corner towards the nose. And this one, I even go down on it to make sure I got the tips and then out like that and I'm going to come back through one more time if you notice I just rotated the wand to make sure that whatever was on there because you're, you're using the same one over and over you want to make sure you get it off the wand on the other side um, and now I'm going back through and getting the root just a wiggly to get the root of the lower lash and that's one I done can you tell the difference this is quite nice. Okay, so tip out. I went back into the mascara well to make sure, the tube well, whatever you want to call it, to make sure I've got plenty on the, the wand. 
and now I'm going to tip it out and I tipped it out and now I'm coming from the outer making sure I get really close to the root you might want to rest your hand on your cheek to do that if you need something to steady you I'm doing free air and then um, remember to point the little inner ones towards the nose they'll naturally straighten back up a little bit now I'm going back through coming through again making sure that they're well covered in mascara and I'm going to go down on the outer one because that gets the tip on the out and then I'm going to swoosh it back up. I don't know if I'm saying all this right because you know I'm in the middle of doing it and so I don't know what I'm really saying until I listen again. And then again I'm just going to rock back and forth right on the root just to make sure. This also doubles for like when people try to put a dark color underneath there. Your mascara will do it for you if you just rock it like that. Or you may want to go after you've done your mascara, you may want to go back through and um, maybe add a little color underneath. Maybe a sparkle or something. I don't know. But this is my completed look. I can go through if I want to, if I were going out, but I'm going to lunch. Do another round of mascara. I don't know, I might. What are your New Year's resolutions? I know. Lose weight. Get plenty of exercise and sleep. Drink more water. What else? For those of you who read the Bible, read the Bible more. That's always good. It can only give you peace and wisdom. Oh, there go the baby. I think my neighbor may be walking in from the street. Because this is on the front of my house. And I have the window open. And they probably see all these lights. And they see a lady up here with really bright lights. Okay, now I'm going to... I'm actually glad I showed you this. I'm going to tip these out as well. Okay? But I'm not going to finish it because it says bye, and I'll see you again. I'll say Happy New Year and Happy New Year's Day. Be careful this Christmas, this uh, New Year's Eve. Stay home if you can. Love you. Bye.